um, because I really I've been dieting since I was about six years old in some form or another. Um, most recently, I tried the keto diet before coming here, and was just miserable. I was really really sick, and had to stop. And I was really wasn't sure what I was going to try next, but I knew I had to lose weight, and I wasn't sure what to try. What what should I do? Um, and I really learned a lot, not just about dieting, but about the processes behind the diets and a lot about the science, which is great. That's really, that's been really eye opening. I have. My lab results were stunning. I was really, really surprised to see what a huge difference the vegan diet made over the Mediterranean diet. It was like night and day. Um, there were risk factors that when I started, you could see when I uh, had the washout month where you could eat anything in between diets and all of the bad markers of course went up because I had everything I thought I'd missed. And most of the things I really didn't like that much even after I tried them again. So trying the Mediterranean diet was a completely different experience. Um, I really wasn't ex excited about it. The biggest challenge for me though was walking. Um, when I go home, I have to walk up a hill. And really after about three weeks on the vegan diet, I was able to zoom up the hill in, in just a few minutes. And on the Mediterranean diet right away, I felt really sluggish and tired and had to stop repeatedly. <laughs> and that wasn't really any fun. So I, I definitely think the vegan diet is the one I wanna follow for the rest of my life. I think it was a, a definitely a lesson in learning about different diet styles, but because the Mediterranean diet required so much more thinking, constant thinking, um, it was much harder. The biggest surprise was how much science there is in terms of the vegan diet. There is a lot of science and not many people, or not, at least not as many who is, should know, do know what the science is. And I really wish that my doctor could have told, my, my pediatrician as a kid could have told my six-year-old self, actually there is something you can do other than hand me a 1200 calorie diet full of things that I don't like, like cottage cheese, saying here, eat this, and really making me feel miserable. So I, I think that's the biggest surprise is that there's tremendous science there that really proves that the vegan diet can work for weight loss. It worked for me. And one of the challenges is that while we're getting a lot of support here from the entire team uh, at PCRM, we still have to go back and, and live our, our daily lives the rest of the week. So being at the office and surrounded by sweets and cakes and birthday parties and other special events or being with family and having to explain, well, like I'm, I'm not eating this, not that I can't, but I'm, I'm in a study. Well, why are you in the study? What are you hoping to learn? I had some family and friends who were very supportive and others who just thought, oh, it's just a gimmick. It won't work. Don't worry about it. Just have this one little thing one time. It'll be fine. And I really had to, to, to find a lot of grit to resist uh, the things that were in front of me. And that was definitely hard. The biggest success is basically being able to recognize that I could um, plan for myself in terms of breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day so that I wouldn't be famished at three o'clock wondering, okay, what can I find to nibble on? There are a lot of snacks at my office and uh, not all, all of them are the greatest and lots of things come into the office as gifts. So it was great to be able to know that if I'm eating uh, a rounded, well-rounded meals, specifically the vegan diet meals, kept me from having that three o'clock craving of wanting something, you know, a cookie, or I used to really just, anything sweet used to be my downfall. The biggest thing I'll take away from the study is that I know that there is something I can do in terms of weight management. I know that the power is in what I put in my mouth and there's specific things that I can eat that will make weight management much easier. And, and basically that there's, there's really great science behind it. Uh, I've learned what to eat, how much to eat. I've learned about percentages, learned about really how to think through meal planning. And that is going to be the most essential thing in terms of having a good life going forward.